We are back, debating Spirit Unleashed 2021, and we just keep it rolling and staying on to compete in his second consecutive bout. He'll actually just be featured in the first three of these. We have jubilant Josh Plummer representing his faction of Conquest, taking on the face of Team Rock and Wrestling Erection. It is the Rock and Wrestling Erection. Gentlemen, are you ready? He's ready. All ready. right. And Rock and Wrestling Erection, you will get to go first for this one. And your question is, what is the greatest clusterfuck match of the 21st century so far? Okay. My choice, it's the only match that it's so fucked up that it begins with a glorified in-ring apology and it ends in a shoot. It's less than a minute and a half. It's a condensed clusterfuck. It's like a hardcore song or like a Bad Brains Ramon song, except it's except it sucks. And that would be Sting versus Jeff Hardy, Victory Road 2011. Whoa. Imagine being in the audience and watching that match. Imagine buying a ticket and you're waiting for the icon versus one of the great tag team members of all time, you know? And you get, you know, <laughs> two, two dudes in phase paint, a born again Christian versus like some wannabe rock and roll star. You get that this match. When the match starts, Jeff Hardy is so fucked up. He's just outside by the barricades, just hanging out, listening to the announcements, okay? Then he slouches in the, cor in the corner. Eric Bischoff has to come in, basically, to he rebooks the match in the ring right before. This ma the match is already off the rails. It hasn't even started. Um, Bischoff's plan is that he sees how fucked up Jeff is. He's like, he, oh, Jeff didn't know that he had to wrestle Sting, but Sting knew that he had to wrestle Jeff, which makes no sense because the match was publicized. So right there, we were like, this, this is already off the rails. When the match starts, I don't know if you, if you see this, Jeff doesn't know where he is. He just walks around with a, with a t-shirt and then he just drops it. And every, the crowd is trying to cheer, but they don't know what he's doing. The match starts, it's kick to the, kick to the stomach, punch to the face, uh, what's it, the, the uh, scorpion death drop, and Sting actually physically has to hold Jeff Hardy. He's like, you are not getting, this is not the finish. I'm not gonna let you get up, you piece of shit. Sting is so furious at this match. And it's a minute and a half. It's it's all the bad things about wrestling in a little nugget. Negative five stars. I'm 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 glad you said a little nugget. I felt like that's the right term. Josh, in your opinion, what is the greatest clusterfuck match of the 20th, 21st century? Oh boy, there are a few. Um can I do a couple of honorable mentions? Absolutely. Go right on. So the, the other Hardy brother um, with uh, Sammy Guevara and Matt Hardy, that match should have been stopped. Um, not only do I work as an actor, I'm also a fight performer and stage combat specialist. Um, yeah, our job is to um, tell a story, but also uh, it's a safety aspect as well. Uh, I'd rather have a crap story and the fight be crap uh, than someone badly hurt themselves. Uh, even though he didn't receive a concussion, that, that match should have been stopped. He was out cold. Um, the the Fiend and Seth Rollins Hell in the Cell match, I, I don't need to say any more than that. Uh, but the other one was they just ruined, ultimately, um, a, a perfect ending to a career. Um, basically, Saudi Arabia has ruined everything. Um, I'd honestly rather WWE go back to the Thunderdome forever than ever return to Saudi Arabia. Um, for for blood money, basically. Um, the DX versus Brothers of Destruction tag team match. Yeah. Um, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, fantastic feud. Uh, both um, managed to take place at WrestleMania. My preferred match is the rematch. I like higher stakes matches. Um, I'd be interested to hear your opinions. Um, but it, it's one of those matches as well where if someone has to come out to retirement, especially... Uh, even though he's got a load of money, like for this match, he just regrets it straight away. And you're working with, again, that they're veterans for sure, but they they really can't that go anymore. Like Shawn Michaels is the best part of that match. Triple H injures his pec in there, so it's two on one for like, like half the match. The match is 27 minutes long. It's far too long. There is no reason for Shawn Michaels to come out of retirement 
at all. Um, you've got like strikes which are so sluggish. You've got awkward collisions into the barricade. Um, like one of the worst pedigrees I think I've ever seen. Yeah. As well, to, to conclude, the worst thing as well it happened at the very beginning of the match. Shawn Michaels is going to return to the ring for the first time. The hot tag. The hot tag is the big thing. Are they going to tease uh, Triple H coming to the ring? No. Just comes in straight away. Hey! And there's nothing. There's no big hot tag. There's nothing. There's no build to it. He's just straight in. All right. Yeah, oh. no. That uh, yeah. Yeah. That was the... <laughs> so what I love already, I get a clusterfuck that was ridiculously short and very offensive to the business, the working <laughs> business. And I get this elongated geriatric spectacle in, 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 <laughs> on the other side of the world. Rock and wrestling erection. Why is that tag match not as great a clusterfuck as your match? Well, first of all, I just want to say I like the other honorable mentions. So I, I'm, I'm totally with you on that. There. Um, I'm going to say it's, uh, first of all, they're both infamous clusterfucks, which I guess they have that in common. No one will ever forget those, those things. I guess the geriatric clusterfuck, to me, the upshot is what happened afterwards, is that Undertaker saw that match later and was so disappointed by his work. One of the things that he was disappointed at, he vowed he couldn't retire there. That was one of the things that I have to keep going. I cannot end my career like this. And it led him getting back in shape and having his match, you know, against AJ Styles and owning the end of his career on his own terms. I think that upshot balances out how bad that match was. Okay, um, fair enough. You got any more? Uh, no, I'll leave it at that. All right. Josh, why is the TNA World Championship match between Sting and Jeff Hardy not a better clusterfuck than yours? Firstly, could you clarify it as a match if someone wasn't physically able to compete, uh, even though it was advertised? And I guess similar vein as well, Jeff Hardy, uh, he's had a a few kind of uh, run-ins, um, a few like, failed drug tests and uh, misuse, all sorts, but that hasn't ultimately failed um, or that led him to um, his career to go downhill. He's always been like, immensely popular. They even did the angle where uh, him and Sheamus, um, when they first, uh, well, during, the, during the pandemic, just after WrestleMania, the whole uh, hit and run storyline, uh, they made something out of it. All right, all right. Um, huh, this again, <clears throat> going back to your your opening arguments, it's hard to pick because we do have a clusterfuck that is entirely Jeff Hardy's fault, <laughs> and then we have a clusterfuck of four guys who were either they just weren't feeling it in that match. They weren't ready. Like, they just did not. Their joints were not supple at all for that match. So that, <laughs> we have it from a technical aspect versus just something that I don't think I've ever seen before in my pro, uh, pro wrestling fandom. Um, I think one of you dinged the other guy better, and that's how it usually goes. It, it always gets down to the rebuttal. And, and so I'm going to just give this bit of advice before I render my verdict. Jubilant Josh, you need to be a little bit meaner. <laughs> you need to be a little bit meaner because the Rock and Wrestling Erection was ready to talk about your match and, and pick it apart and somehow find the good in that Undertaker that <laughs> decided that his legacy would not go down with that match. Um, he should have retired can... earlier, to be honest. Yes, I think we can all agree yes. to that, but... You know, he listen, I believe he lives on a massive ass ranch, so I think that has to cost a lot of money. Rock and wrestling erection, congratulations. You pick up the W. How you feeling? Well, nice match, Josh. Nice match, what up? Yeah. All right, all right. Uh again, a fantastic contest. Cannot wait to see the next ones.